This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. Hello, everybody. Going to do a quick medical minute on liver failure and on cirrhosis. The only thing I was going to describe was the distinction between compensated and decompensated cirrhosis. Does anyone know what the difference is? I'm a big fan of acronyms, and the acronym that I always think about is VIBE, V-I-B-E. Any patient who comes in who's, who's a cirrhotic, I always ask questions that I figure these things out. So the V is for volume. That is basically, are they volume overloaded? So do they have pulmonary edema, or do they have just a tense abdomen with diffuse societies? The I is for infection. So what's the big infection that we worry about in a cirrhotic? SBP. What is SBP? Exactly. So spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. So that acidic fluid can become infected spontaneously. And what we think of as the idea behind that is that there's actually translocation of bacteria across the gut lumen into the ascites. Very high mortality, really important to identify. The B is for bleeding. What's the big concern that we have for a patient that would be bleeding with who's got cirrhosis? Esophageal varices. So yeah, so and you've already mentioned another thing there, which is that so one, they get really prominent esophageal varices, dilated veins here that can rupture and bleed. And they're, it's really, really terrible when that happens. It's like the trauma of medicine where they're just hemorrhaging into their stomach. It's really scary when you actually have a case of it. And then as you've already alluded to, they are coagulopathic, right? They're really likely to bleed because they don't make clotting factors. So then the last one is the E for encephalopathy. As these patients have impaired liver function, they can't clear their ammonia. And so that builds and they end up getting hepatic encephalopathy where they become super altered. Usually these patients are going to be jaundiced and you can do a test called asterixis. Yeah, where you hold their arms up, you have their hands flexed like this and like they're stopping traffic. And if you get this characteristic hand flapping, that is a really a pathognomonic feature of hepatic encephalopathy. So basically just uh, always keep in, in your mind those complications of cirrhosis and notice maybe the provider asking questions about that, looking for that in a patient that has it. So vibe, volume, infection, bleeding, encephalopathy, those are the things. There's other ones that are more nuanced, like do they have hepatorenal syndrome, hepatopulmonary syndrome, stuff like that, which we'll see on their labs. But as far as history, those are the questions that you for to determine if they're in from compensated to decompensated cirrhosis. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.